Well, hello, YouTube followers. Speedster Johnny here. This is a bit of a departure from the kind of video I normally make. I'm actually doing a repair on uh, my Nordic Track Pro, which I've had since uh, December of 1989 and have been using faithfully all this time, up until the present, until it started to fail on me. What I determined was that it had a bad drive roller. Left side only for some reason. I guess I'm left foot dominant. But it started to skip, and that can be a little dangerous. So I ordered a replacement, uh, and I'll leave a, down in the description uh, a link to where I found it, in case you have a similar problem. The main reason I made this video is because I was looking for some tips and pointers from somebody who had been through this process. What did I find? Absolutely nothing. So here it is. Now, being a Nordic track from the 1980s, it may be a little bit different from what you have, but probably not significantly. This side panel here is held in with uh, two fairly stout Phillips head screws, and these uh, toggle bolts here have uh, a 13 millimeter bolt holding holding them on. And it kind of keeps this whole side piece here in place and it has to be removed in order to replace the roller. Not a big deal. I had a pair of gloves laid out because I thought I might have some problems with uh, sharp edges but uh, you know I either forgot to put them on or well in any case uh, I didn't have a problem whatsoever which is good. I like to keep the skin on my hands and the blood in my body. Let's see, lef lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. My rather ancient Thorson 3 8 drive. Come on, Johnny. This is not supposed to be rocket science. <laughs> Good heavens, come on now. Once you get it going, you'll be fine. I know it's a little harder than the, the two that are closer to the center because it's a little harder to get to. Not a big deal, though. Well, apparently this one is somewhat of a big deal. Okay, let's get down on all fours and figure this thing out. So... There we go. That's got it. Just a few turns and then you can, then it's removable with just your fingers. Not difficult at all. Okay. Now this is one of the easy ones. As I said, the one closer to the center. Not difficult. A couple quick turns and spin on it. Now here's where I ran into a problem. Because the, I could not get the socket in there. There wasn't enough room. So in addition to the, the gloves and the screwdriver and the uh, ratchet, I had to grab a thir 13 millimeter open and box and combination wrench. I used the open end to get it off, but as you'll see when I start to put it back together, or maybe you won't see, doesn't matter, I used the open end because it was just enough smaller than the, than the socket that I was able to uh, able to get the thing out of there. And then the side piece just lifts off and everything kind of remains where it is. And here is the bad part. The roller that wore out. I guess it didn't owe me much after 30 years. And there's a brand new one. Like I said, I'll leave a a link so if you run into the same problem you can uh, get one yourself. Now the picture in the ad says that it's red. Now what difference that makes I don't know but what actually arrived now that's what we want see when you stride backwards it's supposed to turn the wheel if you put it in the wrong way it just spins freely which is of course what it's supposed to be doing when your ski is moving forward. So, reassembly time. Whoops. 
dropped a washer. Did you see that? Yes, you did. I'm going to make sure that everything that came off goes back on. And slowly kind of juggle it around till all, all the pieces are in the right place. Just like that. Start to tighten up the screws a little bit. You know the screw here. And then we'll just do the reverse of what we did when we took it apart. Not a difficult job. But it's nice to know that somebody else has been here. So now I'm going to give it a quick test. I put my tracking shoes on. We've got a fairly narrow box so they fit into the skis well. Yes, you do have to put a little a little resistance in there. You're gonna it's gonna be like the problem you had constantly. Now mind the baby steps I'm taking here because I just got out of the shower and I don't want to get all sweated up again. But it's basically just taking the few short steps I can see if if that wheel is really gripping like it's supposed to. And yes it is. So I guess I have to call this a success. So tomorrow, Wednesday morning, I'll be on this machine and doing this for about 30 minutes. And believe me, it creates a whole lot more perspiration than that treadmill that's, that I've been using while the Nordic track's been out of, out of use. But anyway, now I got two machines. Nice talking with you.